Hello, Poddy's Best for UK here, and welcome to today's game of David. Now, we've had eight run and turbo eight run, so why not have eight run Europa as well? So, let's have this, see how this fares on your Mega 500 Mini. So, um, yep, okay, so let's uh, wait for the game to load. It should load up nicely in a minute. I'm using the LHA file, the original method of loading games, and there's been a few updates since then, but I'm just going to use the uh, LHA file here and let's see if it works okay. So I'll just wait for it to uh, come on. Um, just take a bit. Uh, there's a screen flash there. And uh, okay, so grey screen. Ah, there's the music. So ah, it's US Gold game. So uh, obviously US Gold made a lot of games back in the day. There's Probe Software Production as well. As you can see, hey, when you Europa, there it is. Ah, you need to use the keyboard for this as well because we've got F1 to choose between FX or music. A lot of games on Amiga, you had to choose one or the other. You couldn't have them both simultaneously. And uh, F2 for joystick or mouse. So let me just get the uh, keyboard here. I've got a, a wireless keyboard dongle plugged in and a wireless keyboard. So I'm just going to change um, some of these settings here in a minute once I've just found it. Nice music on this uh, introduction. So yeah, so I'm going to change to f1 to music so the musical now it represents music and i'm just going to keep it as joystick for the uh, the controls so you can see the earth there is spinning around okay so we got an anim a little cut scene of him driving on the motorbike so this this game was based on different vehicles not unlike a run normal um you, you drive motorbikes speed boats and stuff on this one I think it was a coin-up machine. I remember playing the uh, Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum and the Sega Master System version. Didn't play the Amiga version so much back in the day. But yeah, as you can see on the Amiga 500 Mini, it's, it's handling it perfectly well. No problems, no stuttering or slowdown or anything. Oh, you fuck, I've just fallen off my motorbike here. So some really good graphics on this game, nice parallax scrolling uh, in the horizon in the distance which is always nice to see and uh, yep colourful sky, different layers of colour in the sky like you've got lighter blue up to darker blue and uh, yeah really fast action on the game, nice graphics, nice uh, sprite scaling um, like sort of techniques like um, yeah, you can see there's the uh, English British road sides are in Dover at the minute I believe on the game you get a, an infinitive amount of turbos so you have to use them wisely oh you fuck I just slowed down I think I've got a little bit of bug with my controller sometimes it doesn't register the your inputs if anyone has anything similar let me know in the comments because on this game I'm using uh, X for accelerate rather than up um, which would have been the original method of doing it um, so yeah you can map your keys how you want and uh, I've decided to map X as up so X is accelerate and the fire button is to use a turbo so you see on the middle of the screen that bottom bit is your turbos I'm not sure the top bit is maybe weapon or something I'm not quite sure I didn't quite figure out how to use that but Okay, so yeah, we're driving along on our motorbike here. Uh, 250 kilometers per hour, but that's only when you use a turbo. So once your turbo has been used up, it will de decelerate back to 180 kil kilometers per hour. The music's alright, it's not nothing too fancy, but I've, I've heard worse music on games, so it's not too bad. So it seems to play pretty well on the uh, Amiga 500 Mini, no real problems. And uh, yeah, it seems like an okay game to play on a Sunday night. Or Sunday evening if you like. And like I said earlier in the video, you get to drive different vehicles on this. But sadly on this video I didn't quite get that far. Because it's quite a challenging game. Uh, I think the next level was like a speedboat or a boat section. And then you get to drive a car as well. Um, well, yeah, so that's uh, to out on Europa. I'm going to uh, run out of time in a minute, so we're not doing too good here. Ooh, just got... I just got some more time. I must have gone for a checkpoint. But the cops are there. And... Uh, yeah, so I've been surrounded. That looks like a Ford Escort, doesn't it, that car there? So, uh, behind bars here. And uh, let's press now for continue this time. 
and uh, I'm going to go for sound effects. Let's, let's hear what the sound effects are sounding like on the game. So we change that to sound effects. There we go. And uh, yep, so let's start the game. Get some of his motorbike off to the A2 to Dover. Here we go. So yeah, some basic engine noises. Basic skidding noises as well. Sometimes the music can get a bit repetitive, so sometimes you might want to choose to have uh, sound effects instead. That black car seems to be out to get me, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got the sound of the sirens as well, that's good. So if the cops are after you, then you know that they're coming, sort of thing. Nice little game. Um, the horizon's drawn well. Uh, you can see like all the trees on the horizon there, and they uh, sort of move faster than the rest of the horizon, which causes a parallax scrolling scene. I've got, I'm supposed to turn left here, I think. Oh shit! The black car's getting trying to get me again. There's that Ford Escort. Looks like a Ford Escort Mark IV, doesn't it? Or Mark III, shall I say? And the time of the release was 1990, so you would have saw a hell of a lot of them on the roads back then or 1990-ish I don't know exactly with this game I couldn't remember but yeah hey when you Rupa not bad of a game Let's see if we can cruise down this highway here it's not easy I, I, I didn't get past this first level when I tried to do it on my game of day and uh, yeah so I'm gonna give this one um, uh, 7 out of 10. I'd like to thank you for watching.